Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And this is just a little brief intro and let you guys know what's up with Tony Teach. We are starting to put some of our courses over on Skillshare. And basically that means we can take little 10 to 25 minute tutorials and build them out as projects. The cool thing is this is reminiscent of when I was actually teaching college and we had all these different projects we can give out instead of doing several hours of information. The other cool part is it's actually quite affordable. So instead of me releasing something that might be $99, I can actually put these on Skillshare and just let everyone know, hey, it's over on Skillshare. And what Skillshare has for about uh, eight or 10 bucks a month, you can get access to the tutorials I have on there, plus about 8,000 other ones from other people. That's in After Effects and like Illustrator, Photoshop, and more. Well, in addition to that, I want to tell you one little thing. If you're not a member of Skillshare already, you can jump on to this offer they're giving. Like if you go to Skillshare.com slash Tony Teach, it's a limited offer. You get three months of premium, meaning you can take any of their courses and it's for 99 cents. OK, it's one buck. And by doing that, you actually help me out a lot. But enough about that. So what I do want to talk to you about is it's not matte painting. We did this series about five years ago and I've updated it and started using Photoshop CC and showing you how you can do simple video compositing with Adobe Photoshop CC. First up is the moon. So what I have here, this is a... Uh, what you're watching actually is are clips from the full tutorial. But one of the questions I keep getting a lot, um, one of the tutorials we did a couple of years back is how to render out your video from Photoshop. So without further ado, here's a portion of the course that's on Skillshare. That's the only place it is right now. But here's how to render out your video from Photoshop. Enjoy. Now that our composite is ready, let's go ahead and render this out. To do this, I'll simply go to File, come down to Export, and Render Video. Now, what I found is when you're exporting from Photoshop, it's best to go ahead and export as an MOV file. There's sometimes issues with exporting as an H.264, and I think there's a lot of workarounds. Uh, but the best way to do this is come down to Format, set this to QuickTime and I'm just going to go ahead and set this to uncompressed. Now, if you have a longer video, this is going to be a pretty large file. So I'm making this the moon and we'll save this as after. And I already have my folder selected. And I want to keep it the same size, so it's the document size and the document frame rate. Now, if you do want to try H.264, you do have other options here. You can set it to high quality. You can even export it out just for YouTube. But I normally do this a different way. So I'm going to set this back to QuickTime and uncompressed. Make sure this is set to all frames. And I'll go ahead and click on render. Now, depending on how large your file is, how many layers you have, or how long the file is, it may take a while to render. So just go ahead and click render, go grab a cup of coffee, or maybe do it at night when you're going to sleep, and just let it render overnight. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. And again, if you want to see the full tutorial, jump over to Skillshare.com slash Tony Teach and you can get access to this tutorial as well as some of my other tutorials. I'm giving myself a 30 day challenge and putting up 30 different classes over the next 30 days. There'll be like mini classes. But again, you can also get access to uh, some of the other people that are teaching on there. I've seen some incredible After Effects tutorials that are there. And I'll be actually talking about those uh, on my Twitter account and Facebook account and possibly my blog. Anyway, I'm rambling. This has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.